Hello, welcome back. I haven't posted a video about Twix in a while. Now we are back with more jailbreak Twix. Before we are going into this video, I would like to thank to AnyTrend. AnyTrend is a software that allows you to transfer any data into your phone, like photo, video, and so on. You can also back up your device. And one more thing that I want to mention, AnyTrend also do a giveaway where you can have a chance to win the iPhone 12. Now, um, in order to get a chance to win, you can simply hashtag on your social media and you can share your story on social media by hashtag backup with any trend. And this giveaway will end today and hope you can join as soon as possible. To make sure that you join the giveaway correctly, you can click on this link and I link this in my video description. Then you can click on share to win. And so you need to follow the rule in order to get a chance to win the iPhone 12. Now, go, going back to our Twix video. Now let's go to the first tweak. You can see the um, dark mode icon floating on the screen here. And this is the tweak that allows you to change dark mode instantly. So I can just simply go to setting here. Now when I want to go to light mode, I can just simply hit on the dark mode icon on the screen. And as soon as I click on it, and you can see it is instantly changed into light mode. Now when I click it one more time, it will bring back to dark mode. It is very simple and fast. Usually with iOS 14, when you want to go to edit page, you need to hold on the icon and then you go to edit mode. But now um, when you install the tweak, you can simply go to edit mode by click on um, the dot at the bottom here. Then it will go to edit mode straight away. So let's go to make self controller. For this simple tweak, it will give you a make self charging UI into your older iPhone. So um, as you may know on the iPhone 12, uh, when you use MagSafe, it gives you a new NI animation. But um, with the um, your older iPhone, you can install the trick. Now when I charge my device, let me lock my device first. And now we, uh, we charge the device now. And you can see we have a really nice animation. With your phone, when you screenshot, you're gonna see a white flash on your screen. Now um, you can customize the color when you install the tweak. You can change into any color that you like. Now when I screenshot on my device here, you can see instead of white, we have red flashing. So I can simply go to setting and change as well. Let's go to uh, blue. Now when I screenshot one more time, and you can see we have blue instead of um, red. Move on to Sana, it gives you a new style on your volume. Now um, when I adjust the volume here, so it will pop up on the top. Now I can simply go to setting here. You can customize in setting the way that you like. Translation is very useful. I think you should have it on your daily usage where you can translate the language straight away. And I can go to general. Then we have um, the text language. So it will understand which language that you are currently using. And then you can translate to which means um, which language that you want to translate to. I have already selected on French. Now when I go to um, the search here, and let's say we translate hello to friend. And after you select on it, then you have a button called translation. Select on this one. Then it will translate straight away, as you can see. Move on to length swipe, where you can swipe to different keyboard much faster by swiping up and down on your space keyboard. Now I can swipe up. Then we'll jump into emoji as you can see. So it is sim simply and it is very um, easy to switch between the keyboard. The next one we have icon move where you can move your icon and adjust your icon on your home screen. So we have general, so we have row and column or you can uh, manually adjust inside here. So we have the slider where you can um, adjust. Now let's see the results I'm gonna respring. Right here we have our keyboard where you can change the custom color for your keyboard. So you can customize in setting and there are many variety of options that you can select. So we have light keyboard, we have dark keyboard and we have OLED black. So it is depend on what you like. And for me I select on the custom color where I can select the custom color and change um, to the color that I like. So finally thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks and then I will see you guys in the next one.